Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a YouTuber just saying that out loud and I am I'm honestly feeling so much more confident about this video. I I haven't uploaded the one I filmed previously, just so you know. Um, but I have finished editing it and I know that one has a lot of mistakes and at the back of my mind I've sort of I'm trying to remember all the things that I need to fix in this video as far as filming is concerned. So I hope I remember to do that because when I'm playing with makeup, I tend to get a little carried away. Anyways, so guys, this is the look we created today. It's a very pretty pink, purple, monochromatic kind of makeup look. And I was just feeling a little under the weather. It's kind of gloomy outside and it's pretty cold. Um, but aside from that, this kind of makeup look, which is pretty and fresh and pink and girly, just instantly cheers me up. And that is what I was in the mood for. We are going to get into the makeup tutorial. So keep on watching. Okay guys, so before we start the makeup tutorial, I am going to spray myself with some white charm. This is a body spray sent to me by Body and Blast, which is a Pakistani brand. And I was actually pretty excited when they reached out um, and, you know, they suggested I try and review their product. I am very particular about the scents that I use. I have some specific scents that I really like and I always reach for those. Um, and I wasn't expecting much when I received this, but when I smelled it, it was actually, it's, it smells very sophisticated. So um, there's no other way to say it. It smells high end. This is the scent White Charm and I just, I love it. I've tried, I've been wearing this nonstop around the house for the past few days. The other one that I have is Jasmine Blush. This actually smells better, but I don't know, I just, these days I'm reaching for White Charm. So anyways, moving on to today's tutorial. Now, you guys already know what look I'm creating if you've seen the intro to this video, so I'm just gonna dive straight into it. Guys, I've already moisturized my skin. I used Cetaphil to moisturize. I'm not going to prime my skin today because honestly, like, I don't prime my skin every time I wear foundation, so we're gonna skip that step. And I'm gonna use two foundations today. So the first foundation I'm going to use is the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. Who doesn't like some firming and lifting, right? Um, it has an SPF of 15 and you get 30 ml product. The shade I'm using is number 30 Soft Beige. Now, this is a very, very good foundation. I actually rediscovered this from my collection, to be honest. And what I love about this foundation is that it has good coverage, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's sitting right on top of your skin. Now, this shade, um, shade 30 Soft Beige, is a little light for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be mixing this with my L'Oreal Lumi Magique Light Infusing Foundation. Um, this foundation guarantees that it's going to give you a lit from within look. And it's supposed to have liquid-like technology. I don't know about that, guys, but for my thirsty, dry skin, this foundation has been a godsend. Um, it's one of my top favorite drugstore foundations, actually. And I reached for this lot. I was informed by a follower that this has been discontinued, which was extremely sad. And I was very heartbroken. Now this shade is a little too dark for me. So what I do is I'm gonna mix these two foundations together. So that way I'll get the coverage of the Revlon Age Define, but I'll get the luminosity of the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. And hopefully I'll be able to make a pretty good shade match for myself as well. I'm going to mix both of these together, make my own custom concoction. And then I'm just going to Apply this with my fingers on my face. So I think it's a pretty decent shade match. And I'm going to take my Beautify by Amna foundation blender. So this is just the one that I'm using these days and I really like it. It's a very good product. And I'm just going to bounce this foundation into my skin. Don't rub or dug at your skin when you're using a foundation blender or a beauty blender. The idea is to press the foundation into your skin so it sort of becomes one with your skin, right? So that is the first layer of foundation on. So as you can see, it has just evened out my skin tone. So it's not given me a lot of crazy coverage, like I still feel like me. And even if you look close into the mirror, um, I can't see the foundation sitting on top of my skin. That is what your foundation should look like. Your foundation is not there to cake your skin from the get-go. Um, I always believe in building slowly. Um, this is something all makeup artists will stress upon that you build slowly. So now that I have my initial layer of foundation on, I'm going to move on to concealer. 
Um, you guys know I'm loving the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Refine Concealers at the moment, but today I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Refine Concealer, my shade. My correct shade, I'm assuming, is Sand. But when I was purchasing this, they hadn't come out with a new shade range, so they've introduced a few new colors into the Maybelline Instant Age Refine Concealer, which I'm extremely happy about, but I'm going to hold on and I'm going to wait to finish this one. This one that I have right now is called Honey Meal. It does not match me perfectly, but I mean, it gets the job done and I can make it work. So we're just going to do that. And this concealer is also a very good concealer. It's super high coverage. The only problem with this concealer that I find is um, I'm not very happy with the sponge applicator. So this applicator right here, I feel like it just collects a lot of bacteria and um, I'm not very happy about that. But one way is to take out the spongy applicator when you apply it then and you just squeeze it out and use it without the sponge tip. You can do that. I don't know why I didn't. I should have. And again, just pressing this into my skin. Not tugging, not dragging, just pressing. And I'm someone who has a lot of darkness in my inner corner. So I have to try and make sure I get a concealer in there as well. And then while I'm at it, I'll just take some and go over my lid. Now, if I had the color sand, this concealer wouldn't be looking so ashy on me right now. So that is usually something I have to correct. Um, but if I had the shade sand, I think this would not, this ashiness, ashiness, ashiness would not be an issue. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some liquid highlighter, again using the Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter in liquid bronze gold. And I'm going to apply this um, on the high points of my face. So notice that I haven't powdered yet. I always apply cream products on top of cream products, basically just to ensure that everything sort of blends in together really well. If I were to apply this on top of powder, then I would just be creating a muddy mess on my face. So avoid doing that. And I'm just going to take very little. I mean, I feel like even that is a bit much because this is an extremely potent highlighter. And I'm just going to use my fingers to press it in. Take a little bit on the brow bone as well. I really like this Makeup Revolution highlighter, you guys. I don't know if you guys have tried it. And if you have, um, leave your feedback in the comments. Do you like it? Do you love it? Are you into liquid highlighters? Is it just me? Like, what is the deal? So if you notice, right now we are just working on skin. So we are trying to get our skin to look perfect. If I were to have any blemishes or any spots that I wanted to conceal, I would have done that um, as I concealed my under eyes. And then on top of that, we're still working on skin, so we applied a liquid highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. Whatever is left on my finger, I will take down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin. So everything looks natural. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to blush, and I'm going to be using a cream blush for today's video and the blush that I'm going to be using is called Pink Lemonade. This is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's a blush stick and I've broken mine so it's a bit of a problem getting it to come out. Like I've, I've completely destroyed it. Uh, okay, let me figure this out. Oh, okay. I love this product. It's a little stiff so you have to warm it up with your finger. It's just such a pretty color. I just love the slight sheen it lends to your skin. It looks very natural, it looks very pretty and at the same time it gives you that extra touch of luminosity. Which as you guys know I love on my skin, especially during the winters. And I'm going to make sure that I diffuse the edges of this blush. So the best part about using a cream blush is that you can get it to look as natural as possible. So you can really give yourself a very pretty flushed look without it looking like product blush sitting on your skin. Get what I mean? So you can really cheat the eye when it comes to cream product. This one just looks naturally flushed as if I'd just been working out. I wish. Um, or I've just come back from a jog. I wish. I wish 
I had that motivation and determination to work out. I swear. Or the stamina. Or the time. <laughs> so applying it with one finger and then blending out the edges with the other finger. This way I can make sure that I'm not applying more product while I'm trying to blend. So just use your fingers intelligently when doing your makeup. Alright, now that we have done this, um, I'm going to lightly powder my face. The powder that I'm going to use is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC35. And I'm going to make sure that I do this very, very lightly. So I'm just going to take some on a big brush and just slightly press it in around my T-zone area. Now, the problem with my skin is, I have really dry skin, but around my T-zone area is where I tend to get sweaty. So I'm not going to say I get oily because I don't think it's oil that my skin is sort of letting out. It's just, it's sweat. And even in winters, like I get sweaty if I'm eating something spicy or something too hot, or when I'm wearing a lot of flares and we're in a room that is well heated. I don't know, it happens with me a lot which is why the powder that I'm applying is also just around this area. There's a product that I wanted to share with you guys, which is actually by Atika Odo. Um, this is a bronzer in the shade Chocolate. It's super matte. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a super matte product. Um, this shade is so perfect because it's very cool tone, which means it is extremely good for contouring your face. So not necessarily bronzing, not adding that warmth of color, but to sort of carve out your cheekbones and um, sort of give your nose some shape and definition, you know, all of that. I'm going to use this with a bigger brush, just because that's the one I have on my vanity right now. And I'm too lazy to get up and go to my other room and get the angled brush, which would be better for this job. So I just, I've just taken like a, just, just that on my brush and I'm just going to apply it. Can you see that shadow that it created? That is all I needed to do. You sort of take your contour powder from the top of the ear and you bring it down. And there's a really famous makeup artist called Mary Greenwell. She taught this technique um, where she said you have to contour or bronze from the top of your ear all the way down to the arch of your brow. So your contour needs to stop um, at the arch of your brow. It shouldn't go further in than that. Um, it shouldn't go towards your mouth because that's just going to make your face look a little drooped down. Whereas this is just giving it some structure. I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M441. This is an eyeshadow brush, but I'm just going to use it to contour my nose today because why not? And this is such a natural product. I mean, at least on my skin tone. And it comes in a lot of different shades. I'm sure you can find a shade that works well for you as well. And this is so inexpensive. For me, this was like a very good find. I want to make my blush even more long lasting. And for that, I'm going to top off the cream blush that I just applied with the powder blush. And the powder blush that I'm using is basically, it's, it's DMGM blush and the shade is crazy pink. And I remember I got this blush because I had just started watching. It's, it's funny how I have a, sh a small story related to most of the makeup that I own. Um, but I'm going to share it with you guys. So I was in A-levels. I was in a No, I had finished A-levels and I was in my first year of university and I was watching Gossip Girl. I was hooked onto that show like you cannot even imagine. And um, Leighton Easter, who was playing Blair, always had these beautiful, pink, fresh youthful cheeks haven't you heard i'm the crazy bitch around here and i went on the hunt to find a blush that was affordable but could give me the same kind of look and i ended up discovering this it's a very pretty pink color but then it lends this shine and that shine is what i'm what i was after back then it was a little hard to find um blushes that would give you that shine without spraying glitter on your face did you see that Okay, that is probably a little too much. I forgot how intensely pigmented this blush is. Um, we are going to move on to lips. 
normally lip color is something I do at the very end after I'm done with my eyes. Um, in situations where I don't know exactly what I'm doing on my eyes because I want my eyes and my lips to balance off. But in today's case, I know exactly what I'm going to do on my eyes. So I'm just going to move ahead with my lip product, which I'm really excited about as always. I love promoting Pakistani brands um, and this one is just a top favorite. This one is, again, Nix Cosmetics. You guys are going to get sick of me raving about their products. Um, but this is my favorite color by them. This and Peachy Pie, these are the two colors that I love the most. And this one is Venetian Love. And I'm just going to take um, the lip liner, which is, as I've mentioned before, the creamiest, smoothest lip liner you will find. It's a very, very pretty pink. Oh my god, I love this color so much. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to start by filling in my brows first. So they give me a nice outline of my eye shape and I'm going to use my Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade. My shade is Ebony and I'm going to do this off camera and I will be back very soon. Okay guys, so the brows are done and now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Again, I'm going to start with a Makeup Revolution palette that I really like. This is the Revolution Pro eyeshadow palette in the shade Allure and I'm going to start my look by taking my Morphe G24 brush which I think is discontinued because I could not find it on their site. I wanted to order another one and I'm going to go into, go into this shade right here. And I'm going to take that into my crease and slightly above. So what I'm doing essentially is I am just defining my socket line. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Bitten. I'm really enjoying this color these days. It's sort of like a berry color but it has like this gorgeous red undertone. It's, it's quite beautiful. And I'm going to take this more into my crease. I'm going to blend the shade outwards and upwards. And I'm going to take the purple shade in the palette. So this purple shade, I'm going to take this on that brush and I'm going to focus this more into my crease. And then I'm going to go back um, into my Morphe G24 brush and make sure everything is well blended. I haven't applied any more product on this brush. I'm going to keep it really simple and on the eyelid I'm going to apply a Colourpop eyeshadow. Um, this one is called Catnap. Super pretty. It has a pinkish undertone to it. It's very subtle. But I like that for this look because I don't want everything to be too Barbie pink. And I'm just going to apply this on my eyes using my finger. Alright, now I'm going to take the same brush that I used before, which looks like this. This was a brush I got from my makeup school, so it doesn't have the name of the brush as such, it just has the name of the square. So I'm going to go back into my Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to pick up the matte purple eyeshadow. I'm going to use that to sort of blend the outer third of my eye with the catnap color that I just applied on the lid. So far I have had a little fallout with catnap, so I can see like little glitter specks on my cheeks. And I had an over powdered in this area, so this is going to be... Glitter is always tough to get rid of um, from your skin. So this is going to be like a mini challenge. And I'm going to take an e.l.f. I don't know if this is a smudger brush or again it just says e.l.f. It doesn't have a name. I'm going to take the same matte purple eyeshadow and I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. You know there was a time when I never did my lower lash line, like many many years ago. And now I just look back at old pictures and I'm like, what was I thinking? Alright, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Winter Highlight Palette. If you have the Anastasia um, Moonchild Glow Kit, there's a color Pink Heart in that. You could use that instead or any slightly pinkish toned highlighter that you have. And I'm going to take that on my Sigma Pencil E30 brush. 
pick the color winter rose which is this one and I'm just going to apply some on the inner corner of my eye for that little extra pink pop also like taking my highlighter kind of along the lower tear duct I take the purple color which is on top of that called Arctic Glow I love the name and just take that and apply it very lightly in the inner corner like just the inner corner but also take some winter rose and apply that on my brow bone I'm also toying with the idea of applying this on my cheeks it is meant to be applied on the cheeks but for some reason I always use this palette on my eyes okay I'm gonna apply some on my cheeks it could look really bad like really intense but that's okay um, so taking a winter rose on a Sigma spotlight duster f37 brush and oh that's pretty is that not pretty oh my god I want to use the purple one also now but I think I should wait for another look Okay, now moving on to eyeliner. I'm not a huge fan of eyeliner these days. I don't know why, I'm just not in that zone. What I use instead is a black eyeshadow. I sort of apply that in place of an eyeliner. So the one in this Makeup Revolution Pro Kit is pretty cool. I'm gonna take this black color right here, use this along my lash line. And as I'm applying the black eyeshadow, I'm noticing more of catnap falling on my cheeks so as the brush sort of disturbs that catnap eyeshadow i feel like there's more fallout on my face so note to self next time out underneath your eyes and for lashes i already picked out a pair that i wanted to use for today's video um this is a very like it gives a very doll like lash effect this is by makeupbank.pk um this is the style Paris, another style that really suits my eyes. And I'm going to apply this off camera and then I will come back very soon. Okay guys, my lashes are on and this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, but let me know in the comment section below what you think of this and is this the kind of makeup that you would like me to do more often? Um, or what kind of makeup would you like me to do more often? Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we're just going to quickly talk about the products that I've used. Straight off the bat, this Colourpop eyeshadow was a bit of a disappointment for me. And I don't know, I feel like there was just a lot of fallout as I was working with this. So if you want to use this colour in particular, because I know this doesn't happen with all of the eyeshadows. I have quite a few and they work really, really well. This one was just particularly problematic. Um, so maybe something I'm going to try doing next time is I'm going to use this with an eye primer. Do my crease, apply a little bit of eye primer on top, specifically where I'm going to apply this eyeshadow and then go over that area specifically with the eyeshadow. Does that make any sense? So another thing you could do is powder underneath, which is something I completely forgot to do today. But you know, more than anything else, I just feel like this is not going to be the most long wearing eyeshadow and that is just... I, I don't want to worry about my eyeshadow not lasting all day. That is just not something I want to do. So for me, this was a bit of a miss. The rest of the products are all products I have been trying and loving. The foundations together, both of these, solid job. I like how my face is looking. I like how the foundation is looking. Um, it doesn't look cakey at all. Um, that could also do with the fact that I only powdered in certain areas and left the rest unpowdered. I have dry skin, so I can get away with doing things like that. Another winner is this e.l.f. glow stick. So inexpensive. Oh my gosh. What is this? $2? $3? $1? I don't even know. Um, but this is just a very good product. Even on its own, it lasts a pretty decent time. So this is definitely one that you need to look into. Um, you get the shade Pink Lemonade in a squeezy tube as well. Those are also really, really good. I've tried both. I love both. This is just the one I'm trying to finish because I've ordered it. Okay, so the good thing about cream products is they don't really shatter the way a powder product would. It survived. It survived. Okay. Another thing that I'm loving is this Makeup Revolution highlighter, you guys. This liquid highlighter is a good investment. You get 18 ml product here, and this is potent stuff. This is super highlightery. This is super intense, so you only need like the tiniest, tiniest bit, especially if you're putting this on top of your foundation this makeup revolution eyeshadow palette 
good stuff. Only problem with this is that you get a lot of kickback in the pan. So when you're applying eyeshadow, um, so normally I keep like blowing it all off because I don't want one color to sort of mix into the other pan. That is just something that really pisses me off. Um, but this is a good eyeshadow palette. It blends really, really easily. I know the colors stay put. Um, and yeah, so this is a, a solid buy. You guys should go check it out. NYX liquid lipsticks. You guys know I love them. One thing that I do want to do right now is I want to apply... Although these are super comfortable to wear, these li liquid lipsticks. Like I, I almost don't feel like I'm wearing anything. But I just don't like the look of matte lips these days. So I'm going to use my The Balm Plump Your Pucker Lip Gloss on top. And these lip glosses say plump your pucker, but honestly, like these are not plumping lip glosses. Like they don't feel tingly or anything like that. Um, they are pretty rich, so you automatically feel like your mouth looks bigger, but they're not actually doing anything to increase the size of your lips, if you get what I mean. You guys, these Pakistani lash pants are really killing it with their styles and their quality. So the lashes I'm wearing right now by makeupbank.pk in the style Paris, I have worn these at least... 15 times and I do take care of my lashes. I take care of my makeup. I'm a little crazy and obsessive when it comes to taking care of my makeup um, But these lashes I've worn 15 times and honestly like I feel like they're still in perfect condition um, And I think they look great. I think the style suits me so much And I'm so grateful for that because very few lashes look good on me guys. This is the final look um, I hope you like it and I will See you guys very soon. Do leave your comments about the kind of videos you want me to do um, because I would love to hear from you and I would love to create content that you guys want to see, um, obviously. Anyways, so I will see you all very soon. Take care.